One year ago, the world slowed to a halt. Schools, theaters, stadiums, and restaurants shut their doors. And the church? One year ago, our church buildings stood empty. As weeks became months, many people wondered what would become of the church in Orange County. The church isn't just a building. It's God's people, gathered and scattered throughout the world. So we made the best of what we had and poured into our online services, bringing God's message of love and grace to you each week. As we navigated an unknown future, we celebrated Easter online in our homes. Welcome to Mariner's Church Online. Happy Easter. We are so glad that you chose to worship with us today. But even in the height of the pandemic, God was drawing people to himself. It wasn't until this pandemic, it wasn't until this Easter Sunday that I was sitting in my room and I was watching Eric. When he said, do you believe? I stood up. I put my hands up and I said, I do. As restrictions lifted, we launched Mariners Hosted at Home and equipped our church family to gather for worship in small groups with friends and neighbors. Being a widow, I'm by myself. When COVID hit, it was very isolating and a lot of the women in our life group felt the same impact. This whole situation, gathering with Mariners Hosted at Home, I thought that it was like the backup plan. God had a plan working through this whole thing to grow us. To, to help us spread our wings and to trust Him and not get disappointed when our reality doesn't align with what we were expecting. In the summer, we went a step further, gathering in neighborhoods throughout Orange County. It didn't take long to see that God was doing something special, using worship in coffee shops, hotels, and parking lots to reach our communities with the message of Jesus. We're, we're walking down to the court again, and it's a Sunday morning, and my aunt notices that it's, it's a church, not just like a building. When, when Kyle started speaking, it, it, it really spoke to me. The worship also caught me off guard, and having that not only live, but so passionate, it, it, it got to me. When I found out that Laguna Hills was opening, I was so excited. I finally felt community, and I didn't even know that I had been missing that for so long. God calls us to be in community with other Christians as well as the community at large. We just love the fact that um, Mariners has boldly stepped into every challenge that's come along and said, we're going to do this together. We'll never forget the day we were able to reopen our Irvine campus for outdoor gatherings, hearing our church worship together, helping people experience hope and connection was a much needed reminder that God had not left or abandoned us. In fact, he was the one sustaining us. Throughout the pandemic, we were awakened to the needs of people who didn't have access to the message of Jesus. In December, Mariners began serving more than 50 assisted living facilities with weekend worship services. The doors that had been closed to all outsiders, guests, and visitors could not keep out the message of God. He made a way. Word of Mariners' work reached our partners at the Orange County Rescue Mission. Together, we were able to expand our partnership, making it possible for Mariners to open a location at the mission to share God's love with the people and families of OCRM each weekend. The toll COVID has taken on our foster youth this year has been tremendous. Through our continued partnership with Orangewood Children and Family Center, Mariners will begin offering youth worship services within the walls of Orangewood. These services will provide comfort, encouragement, and hope to kids during the most difficult transition of their lives as they enter the foster care system. And as of this Easter, we are bringing the gospel of Jesus through our online service to over 300 prisons across the United States, giving more than 500,000 prisoners the opportunity to respond to God's message of hope, redemption, and new life. Our God is good. He breaks through barriers. He overcomes every obstacle. He always makes a way. This Easter, we celebrate a Savior who could not be stopped, who conquered death to bring us hope and salvation. We're gathered in homes and in sanctuaries, on lawns and online, because God's church cannot be stopped.
Jesus cannot be stopped.